Hello. Recently, I told you about my summer essentials, and so I decided I was going to style five easy summer outfits that you can recreate. So let's get started. All right, so we're starting with this 100% cotton knit dress. I got this from The Gap last summer. Um, I love a good bodycon moment. Uh, it's a dress style that I prefer, but we're starting with this. Summer dresses in light materials like linen or cotton. Perfect essential for warmer days during the summer. So we're starting with this as the base, and then I think I'm going to go ahead and throw on a silk top over this just to add some sheen because the cotton is just naturally a flat texture. So let me go ahead and grab that and we'll continue with jewelry and shoes. So this is the shirt I was talking about. Uh, this is a an oversized men's short sleeve button up. Um, I really, really like, well, one, it's 100% silk and two, it has this really nice like basket weave look texture to it. I don't know if that's going to come across on the camera, but I really, really love this shirt for the summer months. I think I've said this in a past video. It kind of gives me Japanese howdy vibes. And it's just a really great cover-up. Bathing suits if you're going out to the beach or to the pool. Uh, if you're not really into wearing blazers during the summer months, even if they're cotton or linen blazers, they can still be kind of heavy, especially in humid weather. Having something like this is a great um, option. Uh, if you're looking for the lightest layers possible. So this is what we're working with so far. I think I want to add maybe like a chunkier hoop. These are still a simple earring, but they have a little bit of, I don't know, weight to them. Uh, they're just a medium-sized hoop. My mom... They didn't work for her, so she went ahead and asked if I wanted them. My hair is gotten flat. Great. Um, so I think for jewelry, that might be all I do. Maybe watch. Maybe. Whoops. Maybe put it on the proper way. Watch is too big. Should take one link out. Do we like this? Do we like this? Yes. All right. I have a little bit of sparkle up here. Not sparkle, like flash. Um, shine. Shine is the word I'm looking for. I have a little bit of shine up here and then down here on the wrist. Um, I have two shoe options. Both are practically the same. They're black and pointed. Um, I think a heel would just be a little too, too much. So we will go with flats per usual. All right, what do we think so far? I have my naturalizer flats on. These are not new to the channel. Purses. I was thinking coach bag or my fossil bag. And since the bodycon dress already skews like night out, I'm probably going to go with the fossil bag, which is my slouchier version or option.
So this, this is a possibility. I don't currently know where my black sunglasses are. They're in one of my purses, I'm sure. But this could be an option. Just hanging out, doing some window shopping. Mm, it could go into summer evening, of course. I could just take this off. I could add a heel. I could add a dressier bag. Um, these are all tweaks that can be done no matter what your wardrobe has in it. If you have a nice light summer dress, you know, all of this can be done uh, to however you'd like to zhuzh it up or keep it casual. You could put sneakers on if that's your thing. Uh, but yes, this is a good summer going out just to spend the day kind of look. So this is the base for outfit number two. I'm wearing these linen trousers that I bought last summer from The Gap. The same time I bought that dress, there was a sale going on. I was weak, but I love these pants. They are so comfortable and I've been getting a lot of use out of them since I purchased them, which is always a plus when buying new things. But I have gone ahead and paired it with this kimono-like blouse from Express. I bought this pre-COVID, you know, because that's a stamp of time now. Uh, I love this shirt. Uh, I love the knot detail. I can dress it up or dress it down. I like to wear it with jeans as well. But this is what we are starting with. Um, for jewelry, I don't know, this blouse always dresses up an outfit, so do I want to go with something simple? How about these hoops? Where's the other one? Where's my other hoop? Oh, there it is. These are some diamond hoops from my parents. A few years ago, I loved them. Ow. They're very small, very dainty, but they add a little bit of sparkle. And not really sure if you're going to be able to see them, but they're just these very cute little hoops. I wear them all the time because I think that they are just a lovely ladylike earring. Um, I don't think I'm going to add the watch. As I said earlier this year, I am trying to simplify the styling process. I'm trying not to overthink the whole getting ready thing. I think that takes a lot of fun out of getting dressed, so I'm not going to overthink these outfits. I believe I'm going to go ahead and put on my harachas. I know I am pronouncing that word wrong. I looked it up, but I cannot remember how to properly pronounce it, so apologize for that. But I like the woven detail. These are from Etsy. Um, the Macarena collection, I believe, is the Etsy seller. I love these. Uh, recommend sizing a full size down from your actual size because the leather will stretch. And these are already getting to the point where they kind of slip off my feet. So just a heads up. If you go check out that website and then I thought it would be fun to kind of mimic, not mimic, mirror the weave in the shoe with the weave in a bag. So I'm going to grab my quince leather woven 
and no, the browns don't match. That's fine. It's not a big deal. Nobody's going to come after you if they don't match. But I just really like these pieces. I like these shoes, summer staple, wear them pretty much all season long. Bag is new, but I definitely see myself getting use out of it going into the rest of the summer and into fall. I think it's going to be a great just carry-all bag. It's a wonderful size. Again, I got this from Quince. So uh, it's a usual um, piece that they have, so I would go check it out if you're interested in something like this. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and just come a little bit closer so you can see the, the weave. I've only broken it out a few times, so it's going to take a little bit of time to wear it in and get it nice and slouchy, but I can't wait. It's going to be fantastic. So this is an outfit that I would throw together again for a nice warm day. If I know I'm going to be doing a lot of walking, granted these shoes do not have any support. So something to keep in mind, um, maybe look at Nisolo. Uh, I know they're a brand they make Shoes like this, a little pricey, but they're sustainable, and I've heard nothing but great things. And their harachas have a little more of a soul to them, so you might want to check them out too. But this is outfit number two. Let me know what you think. Uh, as always, I'm always interested in seeing what you guys are liking, how you would style these pieces. Um, it's always fun hearing your um, thoughts and recommendations. And here is the base for outfit number three. This dress, just every time I put it on, I feel so pretty. Um, this is a thrifted 90s-ish dress. My mom brought this home and thought I would like it and I wasn't so sure. And then once I put it on, fell in love. It is my favorite summer dress. My only gripe is that it is 100% polyester. <laughs> Hate that about this dress, but everything else is so great. Uh, the one thing is that as much as I like it, I realized I didn't wear it a single time last summer. <laughs> I have no idea how that happened. So I thought I would pull it out and reintroduce myself to the way I feel when I put this dress on, which is gorgeous. Uh, I went ahead and unbuttoned a few of the buttons just to show a little skin. Um, you can definitely unbutton the top if you want more length or coverage here at the leg. It's a great thing about these types of dresses that button all the way from the top to the bottom is that you can play with the way that they lay and shift, um, which gives a little more, I don't know, variety to the looks. I also like that it ties in the back. It's such a pretty dress. So, jewelry. I think... I want to see how this dress looks with my new ball uh, ivory ballet flats from Dolce Vita. And because that's such a like modern, trendy shoe at the moment, I think I want to go soft with pearls. I think that would be pretty. Pearls, they're a classic. You can never go wrong. I'm really into the kind of Baroque, organic pearls that have been showing up in recent years. I actually own a pendant. Pretty sure you've seen it here on the channel before. I'm having that pendant redone with some rose gold, uh, and I just need to get a chain for it. So that is why it has not been seen recently. Uh, but I think it's going to be awesome when it's done. So, some pearl earrings, just studs, very classic Chanel-esque. 
um, ballet flats. The Dolce Vita, as you can see, I have been wearing them. So this is what they look like with the dress. I knew I was going to like the way they look. That's a, diff a different shape. Still feminine and modern at the same time. Strange uh, putting those two words together with uh, for a shoe. But I want to add a sweater over top of this. And I think I'm going to try to like belt it. We'll see how that works out. Um, let me grab that. Here's the sweater. This is recently thrifted. Uh, I wanted a big chunky cotton sweater for the summer. I like that the buttons are functional. I can, if it gets chilly, I can bring this up or I can leave it down. This is definitely for days that it's just a little cooler. But I wanted to try to maybe put this. Belt it. Is that necessary? My microphone is going to get scrunched in there, but let's see. microphone is going to screw up the, the look, but do we? I don't think I like this. I don't, I don't think I like what's going on here. It could also be that the microphone is stuck in there, but I don't think it needs to be belted. I mean, for stylistic purposes, maybe. I mean, the belt isn't necessarily there for function. But what do we think about just the sweater? I mean, it's very summer, very, I try to keep trying to put my hands in pockets that don't exist. It's very aggravating. But it's not horrible. I mean, for a summer lazy day, maybe if you've gone to have a picnic over by the water lake or the beach or whatever and it just starts to get a little too cool off the water throwing on a sweater over a sundress I mean that's perfectly fine um basket bag leather carryall basket Leather carry-all. Leather carry-all. Basket. Hmm. What do you think? I love that there's texture on texture going on. I'm going to come a little bit closer. Obviously, the open knit of the sweater and then having the woven texture. I do like how that's playing off of the sweater. Subtle but effective. But I think I like the brown. I think the brown brings a warmth and kind of a, I don't know, richness to not rich, like, monetarily, but color-wise. Um, I think... Yeah, I think... I think I like that. Throw on some sunglasses. Um, and good to go. Easy, simple, another walkable outfit that if you're going to get frozen yogurt or you're doing some window shopping, out with friends, just enjoying the day. I think this is perfectly fine. I think I would totally put this outfit together again and I'd be comfortable. 
I would be warm enough and cool enough because I could just take the sweater off, do the whole throw it over the shoulder thing, and I'd be good to go. So this is outfit number three. What do you think? Tell me. Let me know in the comments. Um, let's head on over to outfit four. The base for outfit number four is very simple, something that I have already worn this summer. A pair of linen pants. These are from Eileen Fisher and a linen white button up from Quince. I also have a fitted tank top underneath that I recently bought from Walmart. And I mean, it's the neutrals, it's the light colors, it's hot out. We don't need the sun really being absorbed by the colors of our clothes, which happens when you're wearing darker navies, blacks, grays, things like that. So on really warm days where you just want to be breathable, don't necessarily want a lot of material on your skin, this is a great go-to. Um, for jewelry, I am going to go statement because the outfit is so simple. Nothing wrong with simplicity here. We like subtle looks on this channel. But I am going to go ahead and put on these fantastic whoop, gold hammered earrings. Definitely going to add some shine, some movement to the outfit, which is always a great go-to if you dress on the simple side. Having fun with an accessory such as this is a great option. I mean, thrifted, fantastic find, so happy I found them. I'm going to go ahead and put this coach watch back on. Mom bought it for herself, doesn't fit her, she gave it to me. Got the earrings in. I am going to do the harachas and the woven leather bag just because I like the weave on weave action going on when I put them together. Um, I mean, simple. You can't get any more simple unless you were doing jeans and a t-shirt but I mean when it works it works I have been complimented in this exact outfit by a young man surprisingly enough he was wearing a cool outfit himself but he he felt it necessary to take a moment out of his day to say I really like your outfit and it made my day <laughs> so I mean if you're getting comp compliments on your outfits Rewear them. Just just a styling hack. But this is outfit number four. And you don't have to go with neutral tones like this. You obviously can wear pinks and oranges and reds and yellows. I mean, knock yourself out. But when it's on the warmer side of summer, sometimes you just have to go with sand and clouds. I mean, honestly, it when it works, it works. So this is the complete outfit number four. Okay, final outfit. This is basically the complete opposite of the last outfit and where I said wearing darker colors absorbs the heat, gets a little hotter. Let's uh, make this evening evening in the summer, it's getting cooler, maybe you're going to go out and if you're somebody who goes, in out, goes out and has drinks, maybe with the girlfriends, with the significant other, we're, we're going with that vibe, all right? Um, I said in the last outfit, when 
certain things like linens and cottons are put together the lighter tones when it works it works outfit formulas are the same way this is my kind of casual um jeans and a button-up you will rarely see me in jeans and a t-shirt it's just my preferred way of dressing um, i can dress it down i can dress it up and when an outfit formula works it works if you find one that does it for you repeat it over and over and over and over and over again because it makes getting dressed so much easier and this is one of my outfit formulas jeans and a really great button-up shirt this button-up is a very oversized men's cotton button-up thrifted this i think last last summer i don't remember and these are a pair of Levi's 501s. They are a bit on the longer side, but that's okay. I would prefer that they be longer than too short. Uh, they are in the indigo colorway. Um, and we are going to make this evening, which means I'm going to add some sparkle. I'm going to add some heels. First, we are going to add some jewelry. Let's see here. Um, how about I clip this first? How about we add a ring? Maybe not. So this one right here that I have been able to put on is my sweet 16 birthday present from my dad. I, up until a few years ago, wore it every day since then never took it off but unfortunately um it doesn't fit on every well at least on the ring finger that it used to anyway side note so we've added the little ring here mm. let's see what do we want to add for earrings Because the ring is so far down here, I could put on a gold earring. Maybe I could put on these Tokyo Station earrings here. I bought them at Tokyo Station. They aren't in the shape of Tokyo Station. Oh, I think I like this. Okay. We're going to go with these. Hello. Oh gosh. Helps when the post actually goes through. All right. So these you've seen before. Just these cute little, they look like little fish. Um, I like those. They're thin, but they drop down. So brings that elongation to the neck. I've also unbuttoned a little bit lower with very oversized shirts. It's kind of just par for the course that it's going to be a relatively deep V. So you are more than welcome to add as many necklaces as you like. Um, maybe a painted fingernail if that's your uh, jam, but that's all right. I think the earrings the little ring. Um, do I want to do the watch? Uh, for now, yes, we are going to add the watch. Shoes, I said a heel, so I am going to do my kitten heels because they're going to add a little bit of height which is going to make the inseam of these pants a little less um, baggy looking on me if I had pewter pumps which I'm still on the hunt for I would absolutely put those on um, I like that it's a walkable heel and it shows some skin from my foot. It's something that um, Alison Bornstein talks about. 
that if you're wearing like longer pants or denim, not to wear a shoe that cuts off your foot, the top of your foot, having that break uh, helps make the look a little more cohesive, um, which I would agree with having, you know, skin, skin, skin. Uh, otherwise, it would just look like a hunk block of material down here. So I don't think I'm going to do a belt because I want to keep the casualness, if you will, of the outfit. Um, but I did say I was going to add sparkle. So I have two options, both thrifted. I have this little beaded bag. I'll come up a little bit closer. This little beaded bag, it does have a chain. It's just tucked inside. Um, thrifted it a few months ago. Love it. It's a great little evening bag. It would be fun during the day too. Or I have this silver clutch that I thrifted both Goodwill purchases um, last year, early last year. And again, it's just this lovely beaded bag. None of the beads are missing. It's very hefty. It has some weight to it. So you can see uh, the watch kind of disappears into, I don't know if you can see that, into the silver. If I wanted to carry this as like a little clutch, I mean, the gold is playing off of the gold in the watch, but I don't know. Do I take the watch off or do I, I think I'm going to take the watch off. Maybe. All right, now what do we think? We can do silver or we can do black. Both would work. What do we think? I don't know you guys, what do you think? Which one would you, would you choose? I, I'm indecisive. Uh, the black sticks with the cohesive feel, the black shoes, the black shirt. But the silver adds some pow and a third color, if you want to call it that. I think for right now I'm going to stick with the silver one just for the sake of this video but you guys tell me in the comments which of the beaded bags you would put with the outfit um, I don't think it's bad either way it's just I guess more vibe and how I'm feeling in the moment but this is outfit number five our final outfit um, this has been a little chatty, a little, um, uh, probably a little long, probably going to have to edit quite a bit out of this because I, I'm indecisive a bit in this video, but that's what happens when you don't fully style an outfit prior to the video because it kind of takes the fun out of it, but then it takes the conciseness out of it too, so. Anyway, here is outfit number five. Let me know which one was your favorite outfit. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please, please give it a like. Comment if you liked a specific outfit or you would style it a different way. I am always happy to hear recommendations from all of you. If there are any specific videos that you would like to see, let me know. In the comments, I would be happy to put them on my list. I just want to make sure you guys are getting 
inspo and ideas and content that you enjoy and um, not just fluff and filler. So that is the end of this video. Again, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Until next time, as always, I look forward to seeing you. Take care. Bye.